Hi YouTubies! We got a lot to talk about today because I have some hot juicy gossip. And by gossip, it's not gossip because it's facts, but it's like, I don't know. I don't have a better thing to call it. it like, it's like a, a thing that actually happened that I think um, y'all would be interested in knowing about. And so we're going to talk about that. And all of all of the stuff today on, on the Twitch is going to be related to um, the Cousin Chat starring Anna from Only In My Dreams and K is for Karen. You know, the the two girlies that do a little, I don't know, podcast live stream daily on their channels called Cousin Chat. We're going to talk about them, all right? And so this is going to be in two parts. The first part, I'm going to share a little thing that was in my email this morning. And then the second part is we're going to react to a... Um, a video that a live stream that they did that they took down immediately after they got done live streaming it but a, a friend of the twitch stream uh saved it shared it with me and i edited it down i think originally it was like an hour long and i have like about 30 minutes worth of of clips from it that we can we can watch together um, if I can remember when I re-upload this to YouTube, I might put in love, some... Love, love, my cream all wheat, wheat. <laughs> we love some cousin tea. Yeah, thank you so much, Jamie, for those bits. Appreciate it. A thousand bits, that's so much. Um, perhaps when I I go to re-upload it, I'll put some timestamps if I can remember. Um, because the, the actual reaction itself is going to have um, some discussions regarding violence, domestic violence, and things like that. And I know that, that can be sensitive, and sometimes people are not in the place to hear that. And so if you only want to watch the gossip about what happened at the beginning, you can make that choice. And if you don't want to stay tuned for um, the conversation at the end of the stream when I do the reaction, then you can leave for that. Sound good? Great. All right. So... Uh, my subscription didn't come through on screen. August. Sometimes it takes a second. I do appreciate you resubscribing. Um, sometimes it takes a second to pop up the option to share. But either way, I appreciate you resubscribing. Thank you so much. Um, so, did Zach say this was from yesterday's cousin chat? It is not. Uh, this is from like a week or two ago. This is from a week or two ago and it's regarding Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith. Your hair's been looking especially good lately, bestie. The length, color, part, everything is very flattering on you. I like the length that's at. That's so nice. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so here is... I'm going to ignore the chat for a second while I tell you about the email I got this morning. Because I got this email and I, I do usually start my day when I first come into this little studio office area... And I usually do look through both my personal email and my business email. And I got an email <laughs> from YouTube. And the title of the email was... And I will say there are some weird things about this, but I'll get into that. Um, the, the title of the email was... Copyright Takedown Request Received for Your YouTube Video. And so I didn't actually initially read this at first, okay? I didn't I didn't initially read it because I was like, well, let me go. Usually those things also pop up in your YouTube studio. Like if somebody has given you a strike or something like that, you usually get notified in the YouTube studio. So I was like, let me go look there and see what the details are. But I couldn't find anything. I, I couldn't find anything in my YouTube studio for either one of my channels. And I thought that was really weird because um, anytime I've ever got... Well, I've only gotten... I've gotten copyright claimed, which means... Uh, so there's a difference between a claim and a strike. A claim is when somebody, like, let's say when I'm covering the 1,000 Pound Sisters on my main YouTube channel... And they, um, and I, they, they try to claim my video because of a a clip that I used from the show. Usually all a claim does is say like, well, we're TLC and we're going to take all the revenue from your video since you used our clip. And 
that's that's whatever. I usually can work around that, get it fixed, and it doesn't have any impact on my channel. A copyright strike from my experience was like when a long time ago, this is several years ago, when Foodie Beauty, Chantal Marie, Chantal Show, whoever, whatever, when she um, struck my channel for copyright, she basically put two strikes on it, and if I got a third strike, there my my channel could have gotten um, terminated, and uh, they automatically took the videos down, and then I had to go through an appeal system. It's been a while since I did anything like that, and it seems that like maybe there's a new process that I'm not as familiar with, because the way that YouTube worded this is that it was a takedown request, i.e. it was a um, a formal like notification essentially that Anna only in my dreams was asking me to take down my video. So let me just just so you have it all. I'm not gonna put the actual email on screen just because it does it does include some of her own personal information and I wouldn't want to put her on blast like that. Um, so it says, hello, we received the copyright infringement notification below regarding your video. We believe your content is protected by fair use, fair dealing, or a similar exception to copyright protection. We're writing to let you know we do not plan to remove your video at this time. You have control over the availability of videos on your channel including the ability to delete them if you choose. So I thought that was really interesting because YouTube has never, in my experience with any of the, any type of copyright anything that I've done, YouTube has never been like, we don't think you're in the wrong. <laughs> like YouTube has always been like, you need to prove to us that you're not in the wrong. Uh, and for the record, it does link to the video. So I'll just, this is the video Hi, in question. Is. This one right here. Zachary Michael. Hi, hello. Um, so the most recent one I did where I was reacting to her being very dramatic and things like that on the YouTubies. Okay. So it goes on to say, please be advised it is possible that the copyright owner will approach you directly to requ request removal or take other actions. As of right now, in this moment, she has not done that. The email is not intended as legal advice. If you're interested in more information regarding your options in this matter, you may wish to consult a qualified attorney. Please note that um, the complainant's physical address and phone number have been redacted uh, from below, but it does include other things like her personal email, her full name, things like that. So I'm not going to, again, put that all on the YouTubies. Um, <clears throat> so... Uh, the, the, it then goes on to say, uh, give, it gives a copy of the request that she made, okay? Um, wait, oh my gosh, there's so much in here. Oh, I didn't even read all the way to the bottom of the email. There's so many things in here that she, she talked about and claimed... Also, sorry, <laughs> there is, um, there are sirens. So there's all kinds of things, actually. I didn't even read through this all the way, but I need these sirens to stop real quick. They're almost, they've almost passed. Okay, so going all the way, there's multiple emails in this, and I'm just realizing this now, because I, I, I thought I scrolled all the way down, and I didn't. Um, so after she made her initial... Her initial request, okay. <laughs> After she made her initial request, YouTube responded to her and said, Hi, Only in My Dreams. Thank you for your response. We've reviewed it and provided updates below. Your request has been declined. We remain concerned that your copyright notification isn't valid for some or all videos identified in your notification. As a result, the content will remain live on YouTube. If you have concerns about harassment, your privacy, safety, or other abuse issues, please visit our Policy and Safety Hub to help you better understand your situation as well as where to report such content. If appropriate, you may submit a complaint regarding other legal issues, including, including trademark and defamation. And, um... 
<clears throat> she had included um, she had included the original I the link to her video is still on YouTube because it's linked here. She just probably has it privated right now. Um, it isn't actually available for you to watch on her her channel anymore, much like a lot of her stuff, okay? Uh, it also says, let's see what else she said in her complaint. I don't want to read you a bunch of stuff that's not, like, interesting or relevant or helpful. Love, love, love <clears throat> my cream all wheat, wheat. The Zach 11 potato, the Zach 11 Judy. Um, unsaved info. Thanks so much for two months of subscribing <laughs> at... Uh, on, on the Twitch. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, okay. So let me, so that was one. And then she, she sent additional information and she said, here's additional information requested. Please know I never gave permission. One, each of my videos in this description box states clearly all videos and pictures are mine. Disclaimer statement, all rights reserved. All images on this video belong to me. Any unauthorized use of content in this video, broadcasting, copying, or recording will constitute infringement of my rights, um, which is so funny to me because a lot of people on YouTube think that putting, like, some kind of disclaimer on that saves them from all kinds of things. Um, she also said, this video has affected my channel with loss of revenue, views, and bullying due to defamation of character, channel, and channel content due to falsehood stated clearly on the video he created. Three, I have received an increase of negative comments slash trolls, bullying slash harassment. Four, the defamation of my content channel name has affected my ability to work with other content creators because of the false information slash narrative. I have reached out to other creators to collab and have been turned down because of this video. Which, to be clear, a video where I reacted to shit she was already saying, okay? Like, it's not... It's not defamation if the things that I'm showing are true. Like, that's not how defamation works. Five, the video in question was being used as a contributing false truth. A video he created on his channel 2023 of last week. Also, her writing is is hard to follow. And so if it sounds confusing, it's I'm reading it as she wrote it. This video I created was from 2021, and at one point he even states I should have vetted this video before showing it. He states, this is old, and I don't think it has anything to do with Marina. He acknowledged it, but continued with a false narrative like it was. That's not true, because I literally said, oh, this video is <laughs> about Marina. I said, this video is not about Marina, so how am I, how am I continuing love, with the love, false love, narrative? Love, 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 love. Well, 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 if it isn't the consequences of my own actions. Um, Carly, thanks for those bits. Appreciate it. <laughs> Appreciate it. Is there proof of this lost revenue and bullying? Quickly. Yes. Is the, is the lost revenue and bullying in the room with us? Is it, is it present? Is it here? Um, now my channel is suffering from lower views, lower revenue, bullying, and inability to work with other content creators. Well, also, let's just take a look at lower views. Because when did I post that video? Um, only in my dreams. Let's see. Only in my dreams. I posted that video sometime last week, right? Um, these are all videos posted within the past 24 hours, so I don't think that those are fair assessments of whether or not, um, she's getting great views or not. This one is, this Dollar Tree haul, it got pretty decent views. Um, I don't know what, what these videos are doing, but they also are, like, crafting videos, which don't seem to really be the the bread and butter of her channel right like the halls are the ones that seem to be the most um most successful i guess here's a shein haul that she only got 1.6 thousand views on but then look here's a dollar tree haul from seven days ago that she got 15 thousand views on so what did i um what did i when did i post this 12 days ago. 
I posted that video 12, oh wait, no, I posted this video that she, that the one that's in question, I posted six days ago. So I guess seven days would be before that. So I guess we have to count everything from here on. And yeah, her views, I guess, aren't great. But again, like the, the videos that she gets the most views on tend to be the ones that are that are Dollar Tree hauls. Like all of, like these crafting ones back here are getting the same amount of crafting views up here. Maybe she means on her lives, but it's hard to it's hard to say with her live streams because love, love, she love doesn't keep them on her channel. <laughs> According to Social Blade, Anna deleted 9 million views from her channel on October 21st. Well, well, would you look at that, Jamie? I mean, that's also part of the problem. Maybe your views suck because every time you say something fucked up on your channel, you go and private the video so nobody can watch it. <laughs> Maybe that's why your views suck. <laughs> Maybe that's why. <laughs> uh, but then also, the Sleepy Semi says she can't prove that she lost views because of you unless you tell people not to watch her and watch you instead, which I doubt you've ever done. I, I think that's also true. Um, I've never told people to do that. I also, you know, don't cover every single video that she ever makes. In fact, I don't cover a lot of her content. She posts a lot. So, like... I really don't know how she could could prove this alleged, like, decrease in views and things like that. <laughs> okay. So, um, anyways, let me continue uh, because there is more in this email. There is more in this email. Um, oh, the original... So, sorry. Also, the way that YouTube sent all of this to me is very confusing because, like, the different parts of her original requests are in all kinds of, like, a different order, um, which is confusing as well. Um, so I'm having a hard time following the email to begin with, which is why I think, potentially, I thought that that this was... I, I didn't scroll down well, anymore well, well, any further. Well, we, we. All you are doing is showing her speaking her own words from her own mouth. Uh, that's... That's what I thought, Diet Sodi. And then providing my commentary on the things that she said. <laughs> on the things that she said. You know? I, I, I'm not, I'm not like, like, lying about her. I'm providing my commentary on the things that she said. <laughs> Have you looked at her comments? Is she getting bullied? Maybe we should go look. <laughs> Maybe we should. I actually don't think that there is any additional stuff in this email that is of particular interest, um, just for the record. I think the rest of it is pretty straightforward, just, like, her identifying which parts of my video she thinks that I copyright, um, infringed on her. Um, so there you go with that. Um, but let's, let's click on a video and see what the comments look like. Um, Anna, I hope you ordered the November box because it's cute. Karen, back when I watched Miss Jenny, my name was never mentioned. She seemed to always see Sally, Jane, and Mary. I have natural curls, but I rather have it straight. Dream bright. What about infinite dream? Who is Mama Lay? Okay, not seeing a lot of bullying there. I suppose maybe in her live stream chats, maybe? I don't know. Um... <clears throat> I do love this disclaimer, though. This is funny to me. All rights reserved. All images on this video belong to me. That is, like, so funny to me. I <laughs> uh, had a doctor appointment today. I missed you guys. I'm praying you feel better, Anna. Karen, you make me laugh. You both do. I pray ever has a beautiful day. Wow, that's such a nice comment. <laughs> that's, such a, that's such a nice comment. You know? Watching first part of replay as I was late today. Um, Anna, Meclazine is an over-the-counter medicine that helps vertigo. And then some heart emojis. So maybe not on the live streams. Maybe she's getting just bullied on her regular, on her regular videos. Let's look at this Dollar Tree haul that she uploaded. 
Looking forward to seeing the boys when they were little. How fun and cute. Enjoyed the short, sweet Dollar Tree haul. Thanks for sharing. Very nice haul. I've been searching for more chocolate milk in my area. I usually mix a little bit of it with regular milk for my kiddo and he can't tell. Fun haul. Love the stickers. Oh, wow. The garden theme stickers. Love them. Great Dollar Tree haul, Anna. Say another fast fix things for good eats is tamale pie. That is the best tasting chocolate milk. Pretty cool stickers. I really love those lemon cream crackers and cookies. I mean, I'm not seeing anything in here. <laughs> I'm not I'm not seeing any kind of bullying. That's so wild. That's so wild that um that there's alleged bullying. <laughs> like I don't I, I'm not seeing it. I'm just not. Sorry, I've got to return back to looking at the chat now. Um, and we well, are going to well, react well, to well, we, this we. as well. But let me... Wow, well, the vitriol is too much for me to handle. <laughs> well, Scott, thanks for the bits. Um, thanks so much for the bits. Uh, we are going to react to this. It is 35 minutes long. Um, some of it takes a little bit to get into. And I will say, like, some of this stuff is just nasty. Like, they... It's very funny to me that they're like, oh my gosh, Zach is, is, is leading this bullying stuff to me when, when maybe not as much Anna in this video we're about to watch, but Karen is just mean. She is just a mean girl. She just, she just straight up talks blah, like, blah, and blah, says the cream. meanest we, we... shit for no reason. Loose scunt? <laughs> Thanks so much for subscribing at tier one. Um, oh, FYI, we just got Lisa back from her surgery. Very sore. A few complications, uh, but nothing sur surgeon and team couldn't handle. It was a six-hour surgery that she had on Tuesday. Oh, good to hear. I'm glad she's doing well. Thanks for sharing, Mike. Appreciate it. Appreciate it so much. <clears throat> Don't call Anna mean or she'll send more complaints to YouTube. I mean... She probably will. Oh my gosh. She probably will. <laughs> like, um, so a few things. Um, not gonna lie, this live was so vile, and the energy they were putting towards a black woman for doing something that they can't even confirm was sussy as hell. Yeah, so let me set the scene for this. And um also those of you that are in the chat, please note the pinned comment. And then also feel free to like make an assessment on if you want to stay for the conversation or not, if you want to stay for the reaction or not. Um, I already spent like more than an hour of my life with this content this morning because I went and edited it down. The original live stream was blah, a little blah, over an blah, hour. Blah, Prima, we, we. I don't think anyone here has ever been inspired by Zach to leave nasty bullying comments. We stick to our own area. Zach has only encouraged us to interact in a positive way outside of Twitch. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, thanks for those bits. And and let me be clear, in case it wasn't, like, I do not encourage anybody to go say or do mean shit. I think for the most part, especially over here on Twitch, like, we're mostly watching people that we enjoy watching. Like, nobody over here, maybe outside of Karen and Anna, are are bad people and I don't even know well I don't know I don't want to make a judgment about Karen and Anna in that way right now maybe after we watch the um maybe after we watch the uh what you call it the <laughs> the reaction uh I'll give a more informed opinion but most of the people we watch over here we're watching because we enjoy it we have a good time uh you know we love watching Lisa we love I we might not enjoy the things that, like, Tabby or Mandy are cooking, but we have fun watching them cook it. It's just, like, nobody, we're not trying to bring negativity to, to people. But tell me how you're going to get mad at me for allegedly inciting negativity, and then you're going to, you're going to sit here and watch what, the way that, Karen specifically talks about Jada Pinkett Smith, a woman she doesn't even know. And then we can talk about people being nasty and things like that. 
Um, did you give the content warning to the YouTubies? Yeah, so we've been recording now for 24 minutes. So um, I've given it a few times, and I'm also going to leave some... As long as I can remember to do it, I'm going to leave some uh, timestamps so people can skip around if they need to. You know? You feel me? So, I do want to get into this so we can get to, get to, and stay on top of things, you know? Sound good? Um, also, I, I guess other things I should say as a preface is that I don't know everything that there is to know about Jada Pinkett Smith. Uh, from what I do know, and maybe what might be helpful to you if you don't know a lot about Jada Pinkett Smith, is that... Um, she recently released a, or published a book, and so she's been doing some press for said book publication, as people typically do. And as far as I know, the book is about her life. I think it's like memoirs about her life. And because of that, she's talking about things about her life in interviews, right? Uh, I think one of those things that she has shared is that she and her husband, Will Smith, are not divorced, but have been, like, separated for several years now. Um, outside of that, I don't know that any of the things that they end up talking about in this video are true. <laughs> and I don't understand where all the vitriol for Jada Pinkett Smith comes from. Um, you know, the other things that I've, I've heard or that they've discussed in the past is that they've had had situations that were similar to open relationships and stuff like that. And, you know, if if that's what works for people, I don't understand how that hurts Miss Karen or Miss Anna, you know? I don't I don't think I don't think that that's an issue at all. But you're going to see that Karen in particular has a lot of of unhinged things to say about Miss Jada Pika Smith. And I, I would really, I, I mean, a lot of people in the chat are saying probably comes from, um, from racism. And, you know, I, I think I'll leave that up to you to make that decision of where that comes from after we watch this. All right. So uh, if you're ready to watch what they have to say, if we don't get through all of this, we don't get through all of this. But we're going to do our best to get through as much as we can. If you're ready to start this reaction, please put some 69s in the chat. As a, as a black person, I sure will make that judgment. Yeah, I, you know, I also am, like, a white queer person. So, you know, I, I'm not the leading expert in, in that particular area. Um, but, obviously, you know, this is a discussion. Happy to hear what you all have to say. Um, and take it into consideration. Not that I can't make assessments on if people are being racist. But, like, certainly welcome the folks who are not white to share their feelings and opinions and stuff like that in the chat. <clears throat> is it similar to the vitriol Meghan Markle faces? Is it the same genre? I would say probably. No, po come, calm down, bud. Sit. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Um, yeah, so let's just get into it. Let's just get into it. Uh, and make sure I have them turned up appropriately. Let me know if I need to make any adjustments to volume. And let's go. Hey, That's guys. Me. Hello, hello. Oh, I, I do think at the beginning, though, I did. So they started this stream off and they did a lot of their normal stuff where they were just talking about, like, what they've been up to and, um and like hauls and stuff. And I did include, I did leave in a little funny thing or like a wild thing not related to Jada Pinkett right here at the very beginning. <laughs> hello, hello everybody. Welcome in, welcome in. And if you're watching us on the replay, welcome, welcome. And know that we appreciate each and every one of you so very- Well, well know that you can't watch it on the replay because they did almost immediately private this after the live stream was over. So, so now that she's saying hello to people who are watching on replay, even though uh, you can't watch this on Anna or Karen's channel, just for the love, record. Love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. Why is Karen out here looking like Jigsaw? Like the, the guy from the Saw movies? <laughs> like the guy from, from the Saw movies? You know, normally I wouldn't make a comment about looks, and I'm still not going to. But just save that, that thought for a little bit later in the stream. 
very, very much, po, especially please. the ones who watch us live. Yesterday, I did... Poe. Stop. Dollar General runs. Oh. And I want you, you to... always find the good stuff. Yeah, at Dollar General. Now, this is, this is the crazy part unrelated to Jada that I left in, just because I think this is nuts. Oh, and I want you, you to always that, find the good stuff. Yeah, at Dollar General. Hi, Brenda. At Dollar General, seven hundred dollars I spent yesterday. What? You find good at stuff. Dollar Tree, two hundred dollars. So she, I also got Dollar Tree coming y'all. She spits. Half burnt corn. Thanks for gifting us up to Jordy Flower. She's saying that between Dollar General and the Dollar Tree, she spent nine hundred dollars. And one one day. That's like that's like not that's like almost the cost of one month's rent in Chicago, depending on where you're living and what kind of apartment you have. That is nuts. <laughs> that is nuts. Also, just to let you know, the Dollar Tree, because I'm sure people are gonna say, well, that's not two hundred dollars worth of stuff that you're showing us. You have to understand that whenever I go, when I find new things, love, love, that love my cream all wheat, wheat. That's a lot of pleasure lube. Not the pleasure lube. Not, not the pleasure lube. Thanks for the bits, Matt. On my wish list, I also pick up for my daughters. That's so right. there's right. multiple items of the same thing. So there's that. She buys so multiples. now that we've got more people in here, in case you're wondering what our title is. I oh, am going yeah, to the title of the video is actually what I have saved here on my, um, on the video. It was Cousin Chat Vlogtober Day 16, Liar Liar Pants on Fire. Lube would still probably be more useful than whatever she bought. Fair enough. To bring up a subject, and then I want to hear from you all. I know that a lot of us don't give two rats asses about celebrities. Uh-huh. However... Since she is wanting so much attention, I thought, why not let Cousin Chat give her some attention, too? My, mind you, the reason she wants attention is because she wrote a book and she's trying to sell it. <laughs> like, like, she has a job to, to get press for her book that she's trying to sell. Also, let me close this. Um, it was not sunny out, and I had the curtains open, but it, suddenly the sun has come out in Chicago. <clears throat> like, how how dare she publish a book and do press for it so that she can make a living? How dare she? So, Jada Pinkett Smith has decided to come out mm. with a new book since her Red Table discussion shit was canceled now apparently her and will haven't been together for years okay so here's what i the question i want to have for you hi michael and this question isn't related to just the jada pinkett smith of it all it's it, it's not related she's gonna say this many times in this live stream okay this question is so important and it's not necessarily related to jada but she is going to go on to talk shit about Jada. And then she's going to get mad later when people are, like, bringing up Jada. And she's like, but it's not about Jada. But then she does spend, like, multiple minutes of the stream on Jada Pinkett Smith. I'm sure Jada really... Oh, what was what did that say? I'm sure Jada really is praying and waiting for the cousin's chat to give her some attention. I know. She's just out here praying that it happens. In general... If y'all have a family member or a friend, let's say your friend or family member is Will Smith and they have a- But it's not about Jada and Will. It's not about Jada and Will. But let's say that you're, you're family members and friends with the Will Smith. Spouse like Jada Pinkett Smith. I can't stand her, by the way. And I haven't liked her for many, many years. I didn't like her even before she came out with the entanglement bullshit. However, this is my question for you. The, the entanglement situation is something about, there was some red table discussion where there, they they talked about like, if if either, I don't know the, the details about it, but like one of either Jada or Will like cheated, but then it was like an entanglement, they called it an entanglement 
instead of like cheating or something about like that. Also, for all of you that are concerned about like trying to imagine Will Smith as a friend or a family member, just wait because some people, some people here actually know him. You all that I want to see your answer and Anna's too whenever I ask the question is if you have a family member or friend like Will Smith who is married to somebody like that piece of shit, how come and would you not interfere, do an intervention and be like, Will, John, JJ, whatever your whatever your family member or friend's name is. John, JJ, jump on the box. <laughs> yeah. Why are you allowing this woman to do what she is doing to you? And, really? and and what would you say that she's doing to Will Smith? Cause see, this is this is my whole issue with with everything she's gonna say in this live stream, okay? My issue with all of it is that as far as I can tell from every piece of like media consumption I've seen related to Will and Jada. It seems that they're they're both in on it. They're both consenting adults in this conversation. And that is is my confusion is like what what exactly do we have to intervene on? Because the way that Karen is going to present it, well I'll let her tell you. I'll, I'll just let her tell you. I believe that this man needs to blink twice on national television to let us know he needs to be saved. Because I'm starting to think he's being held hostage. Because how much bullshit is this man going to take? He is being emasculated on a daily basis by this woman. E emasculated? <laughs> she, he is somehow less of a man because this woman has... Because Jada has shared actual facts about their marriage and their relationship? emasculated well first of all we can talk about just like gender in general <laughs> like like how silly that that's even a concern that he's less of a man or something because of something that jada did like who the fuck cares how is he being held hostage when when like essentially um he oh, here let me allow this from rosette rogue um Rosette says he literally wrote in his book that he encouraged Jada to be in a relationship with him when she didn't want to, but, but it's fuck black women. Right. Like, like th this is just to be clear, very one sided from Karen's weirdo negative energy towards Jada. Okay. Just to be clear. But also like, I don't understand how he's being held hostage when like, the current, like, big news piece is that Jada has said that they've been living separately, that they've been separated. So how is he being held hostage when he's, like, not even living with her? <laughs> like, that's my confusion. Um, her saying emasculated reminds me of that picture meme of them where Jada's sitting with her pussy facing the world and his crossed, <laughs> his crossed and cock shame. Oh, yeah, like those, uh, there's lots of memes that put um, men next to their partners where they're allegedly being, like, emasculated. I do, I do remember those. Um, I do remember those specifically. Yeah, like, they do that with a lot of celebrities. I do think Will and Jada are telling us a lot of stuff about themselves that I personally would have kept to myself. Sure, yeah. But people are taking it and applying all sorts of misogynistic and racist messages to their situation. Like what Will and Jada do doesn't affect us. Cheer one, cheer one, cheer one, oh, cheer. Oh, why is it reading out the bits? <laughs> Will Smith make me Karen Smith. I am perfect for you. Uh, Welsh Cat and Diet Sodi thinks for those bits. I mean, I think, I think that that's the thing. Like, I probably wouldn't, um, say a lot of the things that a lot of celebrities say about their personal lives on the internet. But I, and, and like, to some extent, I think it's fair that if they're gonna put out a lot of stuff, like, like, yeah, Jada's gonna face some people that have opinions on the things that are happening in their lives like I would be a total hypocrite to be like nobody should be able to say anything about Will or Jada or their relationship when like it's clearly I mean like clearly Jada is using it to help sell some books um I just think that like Karen's take on this situation 
Karen's take on this situation is just like completely one-sided. And another thing that you're going to hear her say a lot in this is like, I, I haven't watched anything. I haven't watched any of these interviews that she's done. I don't watch her TV show. I don't do this. But then she has all of these opinions. And I'm like, how are you going to be a hater and not even like come with a, a clearly informed opinion, you know? <clears throat> Will and especially Jada are facing so much criticism for something that happens so often in normal relationships, but they're trying to make Jada out to be some kind of villain. Absolutely. I 100% I, I agree, especially when it comes to Karen and, and Anna. Let's, um, lots of comments. I appreciate the, the interaction. Um, I do want to keep going just so that we get through a good chunk of this today. Who's only about two foot nothing. What in the actual fudge sickles? Why has not Ooh, one of his words. family members intervened and said, look, enough's enough. We got to go save this man. I, well, I, I, Will Smith also, to be clear, doesn't need saved. <laughs> Will Smith, just as a reminder, is a man that got up on a public platform and, like, slapped another man. Like, he, Will, Will Smith is gonna be fine, I assume. I assume. Also a man who has, like, millions of dollars. Also a man who's uh, allegedly, according to Jada, like, not even with him, her anymore. It's a lot. For Will's safety, we are relocating him to Bel Air. Thanks so much, Willow, for that that additional comment. I can I have met Will. Oh have... yeah, this this ridiculousness, y'all. Anna only in her dreams has met Aunt, uh met, what met Will Smith. <laughs> in her dreams is where she met him. I think that's that's where she got her channel name from. I have met Will. Does and... he not have family and friends that can help him? Uh... I, I, like I said, I only met him one time. My, um, my ex was, when I say ex, this is how long ago I've been married over 17 years. My ex was playing basketball. Oh, with so you, so you met Will Smith over, uh, allegedly met Will Smith over 17 years ago. And you're, you're oh, going to come oh, as an oh, expert we, we, on what he's doing yes, with his life with now. Mariah Carey. <laughs> and me, thank you so much for uh, your third month of subscribing. I appreciate it. With him. And they lived in the same neighborhood. Okay. And I went up there, and he was there, and they're all playing ball. He's a really cool, chill dude. Okay. Very chill. Never met Jada. You know. I mean, I, I don't. I don't know if Will Smith is chill and cool or not. I. I have not met Will Smith in real life. Never met met Will Smith, but shouldn't it be reasonable to believe that maybe he's not the same person he was over seventeen years ago? <laughs> like, like if Anna's story is true, what does it what does it matter to me if nearly twenty years ago you met him and this was your assessment of him nearly twenty years ago? I've never met the kids or anything like that. And I think Jada keeps his bolas in her, in her purse. Do you think that she's one of those people like you hear about? Men and and, doing and how do you, how do you know based on um, your friend playing basketball with him that Jada keeps, I, I believe she's trying to say his balls in, in her purse. Like, how would you know that? As to women where they marry them and then they isolate them from family and friends and the only person you can talk to and be around is me or something because I just don't understand why somebody has not intervened. I mean, okay, here's the other thing. Just based on just based on fucking Anna's story, that's not what Jada's doing. Jada is not isolating him from other people because Anna's story, if we really if you, if that's the evidence we're presenting as fact, then Anna's story suggests that he does have friends outside of Jada and that he was playing basketball with them once upon a time, which I have to believe that in general, he probably does have friends outside of, outside of Jada. Like, so goofy. They're just making shit up. Okay. And, I, and I, can I tell you guys something? I see Annette already saying that it's money. Listen, I would give all the money in the world to get this 
nonsense, static cling, two foot nothing thing off of me. I would want I would want to be broke and begging on. Sunset why field. why she keeps making fun of of Jada's height and things like that? Very confusing to me. Also, I don't. How tall is Jada? How tall? Let me just Google. How tall is Jada Pinkett Smith? She's oh she's four eleven. So that she is a, a shorter woman. I uh, but. Not two foot something. <laughs> like what? <laughs> for a handout than to continue living with somebody who talks as foul as she talks about him. And, and what and what and Karen, what did she say? Because this is my other problem is that at no point at no point does Karen really identify like what it is that was so foul that Jada Pinkett Smith had said. <laughs> like she really never does from what I recall from editing this earlier today. She is a total piece of shit in yeah. my opinion. In my opinion. It's my opinion. <laughs> my opinion. Yeah, I've never met her, but an old friend, which, okay. An old friend, her husband was a designer. Uh huh. She so I I I have met Will Smith, but I've never met I've never met um I've never met Jada. But I did have a friend of a friend who was a designer that knew Jada. She was an actress. Will and Jada had a foundation that would help actors okay pay some of their their bills so they continue to act. And they just had to prove that they had a job and they would take these courses. Okay. So she, her name was Kiki. Kiki met them both uh -huh. several times. Uh -huh. Okay. Because they would go in there and they would do, you know, little, little see, sessions at times. See, what, see, why, why am I required to take your word for what somebody I've never met or never seen has to say about Will and Jada? Please tell me. It is, is, Kiki even a real person? It's just a question. I'm just curious. Like, how do you know Kiki? Nice. Okay. And she said pretty much what you're saying, that Jada was, she wasn't this persona that everybody thought she was all the way back then. Well, she it, didn't this is the person me. she met she that everybody knows then. now. I, everybody everybody that knows you, what she knows now. You know what? You know what? Karen's going to let you know. She's never been fooled by Jada Pinkett Smith. She's never liked Jada. I was like, wow, it's like an intense level of like dislike that I just, I truly got to tell you, I've watched this whole thing. I, I really don't know where it comes from because she never really identifies how it started. Is the person that she met back then. I've never liked back her. Back then she had a different persona. But have so you she, ever liked her as an actress when she first came yeah, on the scene? Yes. Yeah, I've she's never an liked excellent her. actress. I've never liked her. I feel uh, I felt like some type of way about her. Did, did you did you never like her, Karen? I'm not sure. I didn't hear you the first twelve hundred times. I didn't like the way she came and swooped in so fast when Will got divorced or when he filed for divorce from the first wife. Actually, the wife filed for divorce from him. I didn't like the way she swooped yeah. in. I just didn't like anything about her. And I'm gonna tell you, I still to this day, my opinion. <laughs> My opinion. Thing about her, and I'm gonna tell you, I still to this day, my opinion, my opinion. <laughs> I think my opinion, my opinion. I think they, my opinion, my opinion. She is so goofy. <laughs> she is so wild. I think Tupac is probably still alive, and he had to oh. fake his own death to get away from this two-foot Klingon. I, I I forgot there were Tupac conspiracies in this. I forgot there were Tupac conspiracies. You know, you know, um, Karen loves a conspiracy theory, and that's why she has to emphasize that it's just an opinion. It, it does. It no longer is a conspiracy theory when you say it's your opinion. I, she's, she's a, I, I'm going to stick to my guns. I think she's a good actress and an excellent actress. There you actress. go. She's amazing in almost all the roles that she has portrayed. The woman's got skills. 
There you go. But as a human... Karen's too much of a hater to be able to acknowledge that she might be skilled in anything. Being, from what she has shared to the world time and time and time again now, she's not a very nice person, especially I... to her husband and nor to her children. I Okay, so I'm very confused on how she's not a nice person to, like... I. Even even knowing what I do know about it, and so maybe I'm missing something. Like maybe I just haven't heard the parts that make um, that make Jada not a nice person. But the things that I know about it are just like her being open and honest about her relationship with her husband. Like that that's the only thing. They love giving their opinions, but when you show what they actually say, then it's a problem. Make it make sense, girlies. I know. I know. Okay, I'm going to tell you something, okay? When somebody is as ugly and nasty as her in her deep down soul, to me, it voids out any good that she has out there. Even <laughs> acting. Even if she's a good actress, which again, I don't care for her. Her <laughs> dark... Uh, do, you, do you like her? I don't... I, it kind of seems like you might like her, Karen. I'm, I'm, I'm a little confused. It's also very wild. She has a lot to say about Jada having an ugly soul. And like, I don't, like, if you, if you are so concerned about how, how good or bad of a person is and like you, you're going to sit on this place of morality, then I think you have, you have to also like not have an ugly soul. And I'm not, I'm not convinced that, that Karen doesn't have an ugly soul. Ugly, nasty insides just void all of that for me. Just yeah. like J-Lo. I've talked to you guys about J-Lo. Oh, yeah. She apparently, I I don't know what her thoughts are about J-Lo, but she also apparently really doesn't like Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> Let's get loud. Let's get loud. Before, about how rude she is. She's just rude in general and has been way before she became this popular person that she is uh, now. Uh -huh. She mm. was rude even before she made it big. I okay. know because I was there. Uh, <laughs> how these how these two Dollar Tree divas somehow have connections to these famous celebrities? <laughs> I, just, I just don't understand. Where were you? Where were you before J-Lo got famous? How did you know her? I would love to know. I would love to know. Um, and I sent you a video. Did you see where somebody said Tommy Davis was talking about her? Oh, yeah. I watched and it. She was on the block, my cream all we, we. Are you saying she knew Jenny on the block? I think she's saying she knew Jenny from the block. <laughs> I think she was on the block with Jenny. Living Jane. color. He knew her from the In Living Color days, which again, yeah, she was just a dancer. You that she was not a nasty, I mean, she's not a good person. She's a nasty person. And so when somebody's nasty like that, any accolades, any good things that they do to me, it just gets voided. You it's so, it's so wild because you must not do any good things then. Because if, if, if you do good things, Karen, I'm sure they're voided in your mind because you are... A not nice person. <laughs> you have a lot of ugliness in your heart. They're giving the vibes of those kids who say, my dad works for Microsoft Nintendo so I can get you banned. Yeah. Agreed. The homeless. You could go. Nasty's a strong word. I th I think it, it fits for her. Just maybe, maybe she hasn't gotten there yet. Maybe I'm being a little biased because I have seen this full video. But... Um, a lot of women get called nasty for sticking up for themselves, so I'll never believe it when people claim women are rude. I think especially with, like, celebrities, there's so many women who are quick to get called, like, a diva, rude, nasty, when, like, their male counterparts frequently don't get that same kind of attention. Um, which I do think is really fascinating about this whole situation with, with Will and Jada, because I think Will has also talked about their relationship in very similar ways, to my knowledge, as Jada. And they're not out here calling Will nasty and rude and disgusting. They're not out here, they're focusing specifically on Jada. You know, like, 
well full on sat down for that red table talk with the entanglement stuff, you know? It's it's very weird. It's very weird behavior. Go oh, start an animal shelter. You're still yeah. a piece of shit. But getting back to Jada, I only watched... Let's, let's bring it back to the woman we're hating on right now is what Anna said. Like She's like, Karen, you've strayed too far away. We got we to gotta hate on Jada a little bit more. I'm going to, I'm just going to be honest. I only watched, I only watched a handful of the red table shows because okay. I just couldn't take it. There was one where her daughter uh, was on there. This, this story is also ridiculous. Just so you're, just so you're ready for, for her retelling of this table talk episode, which I haven't, I haven't seen. Well, so I don't well, know what really well, happened. Well, we, we... I'm still Karen from the block. Used to have views. Then I flopped. No matter where I go, I know that the earth is flat. <laughs> Welsh cat, thank you for that rhyme. I'm not convinced she used to have views and then she flopped. I think her views have been pretty consistent. She love, was crying love, profusely. Love my crema. We, we. Talks about how she doesn't like Jada or JLo, refuses to elaborate. Girl boss. Well, drunk bruja, that is that's typically the MO that we've seen from from Karen when it comes to her coming on. And and here's the other thing. Here's the other thing. She she wants to sit here and emphasize like that's my opinion. That's my opinion. And then gets mad um, when when people uh, disagree with her opinion. And it's like that's the consequences of sharing your opinion online. You share your opinion online, and people are going to disagree with you. People are not going to agree with you. And and that's also what I just truly don't understand is she gets, she she's out here acting like she's allowed to have her opinion, but then gets upset when people respond to it. Like as though they're not allowed to have their own opinions about her opinion. Honestly, seeing how she felt unheard, unloved, and it didn't matter how many times she tried to reach out. Oh, I think I, I, think I paused in the middle of the story. So basically, um... Jada's daughter came on the red table talk with Jada and Jada's mother and her daughter shared Jada's daughter. I, I'm guessing Willow. I don't know if they have more than one daughter, but I'm guessing Willow shared that she didn't feel close to her mom, felt disconnected, yada, yada, yada. They're just, you know, she just wasn't available to her. Jada admit it to that. She was like, you're right. I wasn't there for you. Wow. Okay. That sounds, that sounds to me. I haven't watched this episode, but that sounds to me like a a incredible amount of like self awareness, vulnerability, and taking accountability. I wasn't there for any of you, and her mother was sitting right there. Well, what this was she doing? Child, because she, she wasn't this, acting once she got with Will, was she? No, no, she was acting. She was acting. What do you mean? I don't support them at all, Annette. So I won't spend my last dollar because I don't support either one of them. I don't watch their movies or their shows or buy their no. music. So. No, the whole the whole point is is when you express your disapproval of someone's opinion and they say freedom of speech, yeah, me too, exactly. That this girl, this child, she was sitting there crying profusely, not not only in front of her mother, but in front of her grandmother. Her grandmother, yeah. And Jada admitted she was like, "This is the way I was raised. My mother didn't give me that kind of attention." And this is just the way I was raised. None of them stood up to hold. You know, you know what's crazy though? Like that is, that is like a more honest conversation than I think most parents have with their children in this country. I, I think most kids and parents are not having that conversation. What does the grandmother have to do with it? Well, what, what she just said that Jada said to my understanding of her retelling of this is she was saying that Jada was talking about that was, like, how her mother, who was there at the table, raised her. And that that's, like, how she learned to be a mom, I, I guess, essentially. Told her to grab her hand, to console her. Nothing. And then, and then they're mad that nobody is, like, touching Willow, holding Willow's hand, and consoling her. That's the other part of the story. Nothing. And I couldn't. I, I was just like dumbfounded. It was like a deer in headlights. I'm like, how can you let a child be so heartbroken and they're spilling their guts out to you and they're both like this? Well, well, maybe it has something to do with the conversation is about how they're not close. 
So maybe that's not what their relationship is like. Maybe their relationship is not one where they hug each other. I never watched any of just them. Just zero. So I don't know anything about them. Zero emotion. Uh, zero. Just as a reminder, Karen hasn't watched anything. She hasn't watched their movies, doesn't watch their music, doesn't watch the Red Table Talk, but she has a lot of opinions, so just wait. <laughs> like they're dead inside. Yeah, I've never watched any of her Red Table discussions. Have you watched them? And this is something she, about when she her. Had that little girl on that, was, that screwed over the Kardashians, which I was interested. I still didn't watch it. Had that little girl gone to anybody else to do the interview about how she backstabbed the Kardashians, maybe I would have watched it. But the fact that she went to Jada, I was like, eh, no. I, I was confused about little girl, too. Like, I don't know what little girl screwed over the Kardashians, alleges, allegedly. The only one I could think of was, um, was, was Chloe's friend Jordan. Is that her name? The one that, um, that, the one that, like, cheated or, like, had an affair with Chloe's partner or whatever. That's the only one I could think of. And she was, like, an adult woman, not a... Not a little girl whatsoever. Very weird to me. Why on God's green earth are we defending the Kardashians of all people? I don't think I don't think that Karen was defending the Kardashians. I think she was saying, I was so happy that that what well, in her words, little girl screwed over the Kardashians. I wanted to see her do an interview, but she did it with Jada, so I didn't watch. Love, love, love my cream all we we I wish Karen would let us know if she watched Jada's stuff. That would give more context. Plant, plant baby, thanks for the, for the bits. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Chloe's partner who took advantage of Jordan while intoxicated. I don't know anything about the Kardashians. I, re I really, truly don't keep up. Um, I, I think I remember seeing people talk about it on Twitter when it happened. That's how I even knew that her name was Jordan. But outside of that, I don't know. Uh, I don't know the details of it. Um, Welsh Cat, thanks for gifting a sub to Plant Baby. I appreciate that. I appreciate it so much. I'm not gonna watch it. So I never watched it. I've, never, I've not watched one episode of that show. It's hard to um, Rosette says, little girl is also a microaggression in this context. It's akin to calling a black man boy in my eyes. I just, it's I do remember I saw a clip, I think, on so, on social media. I saw a clip. she she doesn't she she doesn't watch anything with Jada in it, but she saw a clip on social media, so she's about to give her opinion on it. A clip where she's profusely like crying about her the love of her life, her soulmate Tupac, and then oh, yeah. the daughter also was like putting her two cents in about how much she loved Tupac too, and that that should be her daddy or some shit like that. Again, I didn't watch it, so I don't know what was said, but what little bit of clips... <laughs> I, did, I didn't watch it. I don't know what was said, but I'm going to give you my full opinion on it. I saw, I thought to myself, damn, here we are, slapping Will in the face once again. What? Because she was talking about somebody she loved prior to meeting her husband? How is that a slap in the face? The amount of, to the, the amount of information I know about people that Noel dated before me... <laughs> Love, love, it's love just a thing. We, we, I like to, to, this is giving jealous women at the office talking about the beautiful new girl. I feel that, Carl. I feel that. But that's just like so wild to me to uh, to like pretend like Noel didn't have a life before dating me. That Noel didn't date other people before me. Like the whole point to my understanding of Jada's table talk show is that they have like tough conversations. Um, with a variety of people about about their lives. And so, like, I'm guessing what it sounds like is she's talking about a, a relationship that she cared a lot about, that she has a lot of feelings and sentiments about, even to this day. Especially considering that if it was about Tupac, Tupac's not alive anymore. So, like, that's probably an added layer. Very weird. <laughs> Very weird. Yeah. I, I really don't understand how that's a slap in the face to um to Will Smith whatsoever, but here we are. Hello. And let me tell you something. But nobody's I've... answering me. Everybody's answering that y'all agree she's a piece of shit, but nobody's answering in the sense that if that was a family member of yours or a friend, would you guys intervene or not? I mean, would you yeah, like I would. I would have like, said something. Dude, even if, even if it was... eyes, get yeah. the hell up out of here. 
I would have said something even if it was jokingly. That I would have been like, is she going to give you your balls out of her purse anytime today, man? That's so silly. See, and so I, I guess what I will say is just keep in mind all of the things that they're concerned about up to this point, okay? All the things that they're concerned about up to this point are like Jada emasculating him, like having his balls in her purse and things like that. When, keep that in mind because as the stream goes on, they start to turn this into like an issue of like, are you, what What would you do if you were concerned about somebody experiencing a, abuse in a relationship? What would you do if somebody you knew experienced like domestic violence? And so far, all of the things that they've described up to this point do not, in my opinion, describe Jada Pinkett Smith abusing Will Smith. So, just keep that in mind. Is she going to give him back to you? Do you get him back at least at night? I mean... Well, I'm, listen, I'm okay with your with a wife holding balls in somebody's in their oh, own purse. So then, so then what's the issue, Karen? If you're okay with the wife holding somebody's balls in their purse, what's the problem here then? Because so far, all y'all have identified as the problem is that Jada emasculates Will Smith and keeps his balls in her purse. So if that's, if you don't have a problem with that, then what's the issue? Because some men need their balls held in their in the wife's purse. <laughs> so I'm okay with that. So I want to make that very clear. I'm not against Whoa. the balls in the purse. That I'm okay with. This is beyond balls in a purse. This is literally belittling him. How? Where? He, in mas whatever the word is where you, you know, <laughs> take the masculinity from somebody. The lies, the deceit, the nonsense. Where? The Name, one. Name one. Name <laughs> one. Name two. And then once you name two, throw in a third because I haven't heard any. <laughs> Love for other people. Talking about the entanglement. Talking about the fact that with that guy, Austin, Alabama, whatever his name was, that's who she sh should have been with. But just all this in general, it's like, come on. How much can one man actually put up with? Well, <laughs> let's take it a step further. Can If they want to have options about other or opinions about other people's relationship and controlling behavior, I might have a few thoughts about Anna and how her husband. Tr I don't know anything about that diet Sony. I I don't know anything about that. <laughs> I don't know anything about her relationship with with a man. Can we take this a step further? Now we're gonna be now we're gonna be jumping in the deep. I've always always loved will smith love his acting love his singing i love everything he does everything and when the whole chris rock event took place everybody was like who the hell is that man who who was he because that's not the will that we know who was that who, uh -huh. who was that uh -huh. as 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 an actor that so many i also people, including i gotta tell you people have spent way too much fucking time talking about Will Smith slapping Chris Rock on the Oscars. <laughs> like, like as a society, we spent way too much fucking time talking about it. I gotta tell you, I was over it within the week of it happening. And the fact that so long, so much time has passed and we're still sitting here talking about it. I'm irritated. You know who didn't have anything to do with that situation? Who didn't make Will Smith get up out of his seat and go on stage and slap Chris Rock? Jada. She sat there and she bought her damn business. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. That's not the Will that we know. Right. The, the Will that you met 20 years ago. <laughs> the, the Will that you met 20 years ago. <laughs> That's not the Will that we know. I'm gonna call my partner and give them their balls back during lunch today. Wish me luck, Anna and Karen. Will Smith isn't even that great, let's be honest. I liked a lot of his stuff when I was younger. I, I loved the Miami song, Welcome to Miami. I, I blasted that song as a youth. Young adults, 
children looked up to. It was like I my also, balloon went. Like I couldn't believe. I was like, can you just wait till after the show? Pulled him in the back and then slapped his ass oh. in the back. Oh, so you're you're okay with the violence as long as he didn't do it on the TV show is what I'm hearing. You would have been okay if he, he beat the shit out of Chris Rock behind the scenes. You just didn't like that you had to watch it on TV. <laughs> gotcha. So stupid. I just wish people would, like, listen to the things that they say. Like, you're essentially saying, like, you're okay with violence. You just wish he would have done it after the fact. And then on top of that, you're currently trying to make an argument that, like, Will Smith is experiencing some kind of violence from, from Jada. But you're okay with violence as long as the violence is Will Smith beating up Chris Rock off stage, not on camera. I got it. I got, I'm following your logic. Why yeah, did you want to do it in front of the world? But now, did you hear now what she's saying in her interviews now? Again, I've not watched it. I've only heard a clip. That I, do, have you heard what what she's saying in the interviews that I haven't watched, but I have watched clips of? He asked her out on a date. Oh, everybody wants this woman. You guys, everybody wants this woman. Christy, that's the next thing that I was going to hit on. I wanted everybody to kind of answer, like, if they would step in and intervene, if it was a friend or family member. That is the next thing that I wanted to talk about. She literally lied and said Tupac had asked her to marry, asked her to marry him when he was at Rikers. He was only at Rikers for a month, and she said she went to Rikers to see him in person. I'm just like, how would you know? How 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 does how does Karen of all people know whether or not Tupac asked Jada to marry him? How would she know? How would Karen know? That's what I want to know. Where are the facts? Where are the evidence? Or is this just your opinion? He was only there literally for one month, according to the records. And at that time, he was engaged to his girlfriend. He had asked her to marry him. And that girlfriend slash fiance even moved close to Rikers so that she could visit him on the daily. So, again, she's caught in lies left and right. I don't think Tupac would have ever asked her to marry because... Huh? You you think. You don't think. <laughs> you don't have any proof, Bestie. You don't know. You were not there. You are not an employee of Rikers. You are not a corrections officer at Rikers. You are not Tupac. You are not Tupac's family. You're not Jada Pinkett Smith. You're not Jada Pinkett Smith's family. You are none of those things. How do you know? I mean, she'd been getting around. What, didn't, wasn't she dating somebody else in the crew when Tupac met her? I thought she was dating one of the other rappers. I don't know about that story. history. <laughs> Anna said, I I don't know about that history. I don't know. I don't know about the story you're telling. I don't, that's not my I don't know about that. I do I do love occasionally when Anna tries to come in and be like, oh, Karen's saying some weird shit. Karen's going off the handle. But then I'm like, I, I do love it, but then I'm like, you sit here and let her say it. You sit here and let her say this nonsense. You need to calm down. You're being, I'm being too loud. Me, Haiti, Katie? I be, have you been to one of my streams before? This is me, this is me frequently. <laughs> oh, it's a Taylor Swift lyric. <laughs> Not the Swifties getting me. Not the Swifties getting me with it. I was like, I know you're not talking to me, bestie. You're just quoting Taylor. You're just quoting Tay Tay. No worries. Yeah, I don't know about that whole history of who was with who and how many people he might have been seeing at the same time. I don't know anything about that. All I know was I cried when he died and he was so oh. talented. So and talented and very and very wise Smart. in the brain very Smart. wise in the brain as to what was going on with yeah. our country and he voiced that yes and, and again a lot of talent that voices you know their scenario of what's going on they, they have a lot of conspiracies about the old tupac i they got a lot of conspiracies about tupac my dad knows a guy who knows a guy who lived down the road from Rikers and he said Jada lied and Tupac doesn't like Jada. That's basically, yeah, what Karen is saying. 
on the world usually ends up silent somehow. Yeah. But- yeah, Karen, as a note, before you listen to too much more of her conspiracy theory about uh, Tupac, is that her conspiracy earlier is that Tupac faked his death to get out of being in a relationship with Jada. And now her conspiracy is that Tupac knew too much about what was happening in our country, and love, so he love, was silent. We, we... I wish these women would say less. Listen, women's stories matter, microwave fudge. I've been thinking a lot about, have y'all seen that clip from, um, from Reese Witherspoon? <laughs> uh, let me, let me just, um, let me just get it. Reese Witherspoon women's stories <laughs> Oh, that's a long clip. I thought I could find a clip where it's just her. She's basically on The View and she say, she says women's stories matter. It is not important for me to bring up right now. <laughs> But I mean, she's just, she just be nasty. And the whole thing at the at the Oscars, I don't even want to discuss it. But oh, I mean, you the don't? thing is, is that Will was laughing. Will thought it was funny. He took it as the joke because that's all it was meant to be, was a joke. But then when he looks over at two foot, nothing cling on. See, this is this is the part where she makes it Jada's Jada's fault. And also, remember two seconds ago when she said she didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> Surprise, she's talking about it. I know you all are shook that she's contradicting herself so quickly. And she's, you know. Why is she calling her a, a Klingon? I, you know, I thought at first she was trying to say like a Klingon from Star Trek. But I think she means like she is somebody who is clinging on. Like, like, like she's a, a, a person who clings on, you know, like doesn't let go. I, I was I was also initially like I, it, probably bad taste to be referring to a black woman as a, a an alien from Star Trek, um, or maybe that's also what she means. Also, maybe that's what she means. Uh, she she could also be um, she could also be doing that. Love, love, you know? love my cream all wheat wheat. Is there any topic the cousins don't have an intense unhinged opinion conspiracy about? Uh, you know, Diet Sodi, I have yet to see it. I haven't watched all of their content, but the content I have watched, they do. That's got to activate him, so he had to gut, you know, get up and defend his woman, even though she ain't his woman. That's Tupac's woman. That's Augustus's or Augustus's woman. That ain't Will's woman. Hi, Diane. I don't know. Do you I just think, think, you think that that was Will reaching mm-hmm. to show Jada that I can be the can man, be man that you need me. The man that you need me to be. I can be a man, and I can and I can stand up for you in front of the world. Like I can right. do this, and I can take the hit for it because I love you. And you know. And then what? It, and then what happened? It's, it's, and and even even if that's the case, Will Smith is a grown adult who made his own decisions in that situation. Jada sat her ass there and did not get up. <laughs> Why, why we're bringing this to be Jada's fault? Because y'all are a bunch of like uh, internalized misogynists. Beats me. She used that to emasculate him even more. Now, what does she say after? Didn't she change the story up a little bit recently about that? I only okay. know. I'm what not going to even because I, I don't have the proof in the pudding. But I thought. The, the proof in the pudding doesn't matter on the cousin chat, Anna. You may as well just say what you want because that's what your bestie Karen's been doing this whole fucking time. She had changed a little something about that. I don't I don't listen to her. I don't watch her. I'm not going to watch her interview. I'm not going to buy her yeah. book. This girl just wants attention any which way she can get it. And she's doing yeah. pre- once again, she's doing press for her book. Something she's probably obligated to do. Something she's probably obligated to do. I just don't like her. I think that she's got an ugly aura. I think she's got an evil deep down spirit. Again, like I said, even if she fed all the homeless and rescued all the stray animals in her area, it would not change my opinion of her. When you're a piece of shit, you're a piece of shit. It's just as simple as that. And I'm not just talking about her. I'm talking anybody that's a piece of shit is a piece of shit. But, but, you know, there's got to be some form of accountability. That's just like um, battered. And, and that's so that's so funny that you say that because earlier 
she was taking accountability with her daughter in the story you told, and that wasn't good enough for you. Wife syndrome, there's battered husband syndrome. And um, abuse comes in different forms, all the way from physical to verbal. So, to so this is where they start talking about this being abuse. Okay, this is this is where they start talking about how this is allegedly like abuse of Will Smith. And I'm sorry, but nothing they've explained up to this point has sounded like that to me. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I misunderstood. But from what I can tell is that Jada's just had some honest conversations about her relationship with Will in ways that maybe a lot of people feel like is oversharing or too much information that they didn't need to know. But... <laughs> But, like, what? Emotional in combos. Mental, yeah, mental, yeah. Everybody saw it. Everybody saw it. Where does the accountability land? Everybody as far saw why? Will? That enough was enough. Right. Or was it was it his way of saying enough was enough when he had an open relationship? That he was like, okay, you're not loving me. I need to get it from someone else. I need to get love from somewhere else if it's not you. Was that part of that, of him saying enough is enough? I don't know. You know, and you can't say he sticks around for the kids because... I'm not a Jada stan, but what has she actually done to be considered a horrible person where even if she solved homelessness, she would suck? <laughs> Please explain it. Look, I agree. I agree. I agree. Um, they want her to take accountability for abuse that they made up. That's what it feels like. <laughs> That's what I feel like. This is uh, where they switched up because they got called rude rude as hell for just sitting and shitting on Jada for an hour with no point in sight. Well, wait, Shay, because <laughs> you are right, and it will pop up soon. <laughs> it will pop up soon that somebody in the chat told, her, told them that they were being rude. Because, <clears throat> I mean, the kids are now grown also, so I don't know. I just... I just wanted those, to know, because me kids, personally, if that was my cousin, brother, hell, he could be a third cousin of mine. Yeah. I would have already stepped in and been like, dude, like if you need a safe place. Where is Will's accountability? He took his girlfriend on actual vacation. I, I mean, that's what I've been saying the whole time is that like, from my understanding of the situation, both Will and Jada have had like stuff happen in their relationship, have talked about their relationship to different extents. Like, they've, they've both been active participants in their relationship and the things going on. And it's it's clearly some, like, um, like one-sided internalized misogyny, you know? That's, that's my feelings about it. Yeah. Uh, my house is open. Seriously. Like, come on. Come if on. you have to give her every single penny you got and just sleep on my sofa or in my guest room, let's just do this. I, you know? I would do just about anything to not sleep on Karen's sofa or in her, her guest room. I would do just about anything else. This yeah. is bad. Yeah. Why would anybody want to be around somebody so damn evil? Oof. She evil. She yeah, evil. She, she's not kind. When I look at you, her... You, you know who you know who else ain't kind, y'all? <laughs> you know who else isn't kind, y'all? With everything that I know from all the things that she sh that she's opened up and shared with the world. Right. This is you know, she shared this with the world. She's a very talented woman, but she's kind of empty in the inside. You could be talented and be empty in the inside. And let's face it, I mean, she's not the most attractive woman either. I'm not saying she's ugly. Uh what did you say, Karen? Now who now who in here earlier? Now who in here earlier was saying that Karen looked like Jigsaw? And I told y'all to save it. And I told y'all to save it. And I said, and I said, I don't like to talk about people's looks like that. But when you want to come, let remind you, I want to remind y'all what Jada even looks like. Okay, just for the record. Just for the record. Just for the record. Like, love, love, love my cream. I'll wee, wee. <laughs> the jokes write themselves. Just for the record, this is who Karen, which, like, let's just do a side by side. This is who this woman right here is calling ugly. 
this, this this beautiful woman on the left is being well, called well, ugly well, by this woman on the right. J is for jigsaw. I just I just want to make sure like you know y'all y'all be making the choices y'all need to make about about how you feel about that. Um, again, I don't care what people look like. I truly don't. But when you're going to have the audacity to call a beautiful woman like Jada Pinkett Smith ugly. You, you better be pretty fucking gorgeous yourself. Okay. Um, these are the same people who think that one girl looks like Mariah Carey. You're so right. You're correct. Uh, I'd just like to remind you it's currently 6.04. Well, it's 6.05 now. You are right. There are a few more things I want to try to get to. I should probably tell Noel that I might just, um, I might just, um, um, I might just, like, meet them blah, at the blah, restaurant blah, instead blah, of meeting them before. Wee, wee. Um, she does give off Jigsaw vibes, giving extreme punishment punishments to people for minor issues uh faye lynn thanks so much for subscribing at tier one appreciate it appreciate it um let me let me uh touch base with noel real quick and then we'll get back to it i i could probably go for maybe like 15 30 more minutes potentially at least until we get to the to the part that I want. Do you ever not have plans in the evening? Yeah, I didn't have plans. Well, Monday night I had Fortnite, but I didn't have to leave my home for that. And Tuesday I didn't have any plans. Um, <clears throat> All right, let's keep going. Let's keep go. Oh, let me let me take Jada down. Let's keep going. Oh uh, no, she's pretty. Her heart, she's her pretty. Heart, her heart no, made her pretty. ugly, though. It doesn't matter when you're an ugly she's person pretty. inside. You're ugly. Period. Then what does that make you? What does that make you, Karen? And I'm gonna tell you. Put them on one point two five. We can do that too. Sure. I appreciate that you all keep me in line, and you're like Zach. Go. Like we gotta stay on on track. Uh, Will Smith could have far, far better than that shit. Oh, he can have whatever he wants. I mean, exactly. the man is, so the man is talented. He's funny. Planet. He's intelligent. And also, you know. I don't believe for one second, you guys, about her. You know, oh, this. Also, what Karen is about to say here is also fucking vile. So just prepare yourself. Uh, ableist as hell is what's about to come out of her mouth. Um, I do just want to note that Jada is also like an intelligent, talented woman. But you just said that that wasn't enough for her bad vibes. But apparently, just being talented and funny and intelligent is enough for Will Smith. You know, just just so that we're clear about that. Comment of how he's intelligent. And also, you know. I don't believe for one second, you guys, about her comment of having alopecia. There's no signs of any baldness on her head at all. She's got it shaved close to her scalp. But you see, it's full in all over. There's no gaps or I mean, holes or anything. I have I have no, I have nothing else to say about that outside of that's just like straight up ableism. Like the the way that people with disabilities have to constantly like prove to able-bodied people that they're disabled is fucked up. Okay? Jada doesn't have to prove anything to you specifically, Karen, about her her condition of alopecia. That is not her responsibility. I don't know what the fuck your problem is. And that's all I got to say about that. So I don't I've really never looked that either. closely, so I don't know. I've well, never looked that closely. I've, they, seen on, I've seen on social media them looking real close, including one of her. On social media. She doesn't watch the news, but she does trust the experts of social media. People that have done her hair. And they say that she lied about that, too. Oh, if really? you lie, Listen, my daddy always told me you lie about one thing, you lie about a lot. So. Wow. <clears throat> what? Listen to a joyful Steffi. Oh, this part's uh, so this is another part that's about to be fucked up, okay? <laughs> there are a few parts that are like particularly fucked up that I wanted to make sure we got to. I could think of like two more and this is one of them. So so we're we're almost there. Where'd yeah, you get that? 
that's been around for a while. That's kind of like rock cutting, so, right? So essentially what just happened is Anna read a comment from somebody that suggested that Will Smith is on the down low and is is gay. Okay. Yeah, Everybody thought around. Rock was this, but that's rock been around that. for a while that he's into men. Wow. Uh, somebody, somebody just came out recently and said that uh, they caught she caught her husband and Will Smith in bed Some, together. Somebody, somebody just came out recently and said that. Like the fact that you can't even say who it was, you're just talking shit. And here's the reason that this is a problem. And Will Smith is a large celebrity and he can do whatever. But this is the kind of bullshit that happens to gay people who are in the closet that gets them hurt. Gets them, gets them, uh, like, disowned from their family. Spreads fucking rumors. The fact that we're even discussing it as, like, a thing that could be going on with Will Smith. What does it matter? If, if he's out here fucking men, what does it matter? What does it matter to you? When we've already established anyways that he is, is separated from his wife and not with her. Like, what the fuck does it matter? But instead, you want to sit out here and speculate on somebody's sexuality. Love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. <clears throat> because you can't like both men and women? I'm, the buy erasure. I mean, absolutely that as well. <laughs> absolutely that as well. Like, if you sleep with a man, you can't possibly also be attracted to women. It's, it's also that. Yeah. But, like, speculating on people's sexuality like that puts people in danger. It puts people in danger because there are a lot of hateful ass people out there that want to expose people for being gay and, and it puts them in harm's way. So like, chill the fuck out, chill the fuck out with that nonsense. Where he was wearing a dress and standing over the husband, but I can't remember who it was. If anybody knows who it was, somebody's wife, they're divorced now, came out. I, and literally so, said that and you and you're spreading misinformation oh look somebody's here to tell them that they're being rude as hell <laughs> thanks so much hannah for for calling out them being rude as hell that um she caught them he might have been he might have been um uh practicing for a role yeah he could have <laughs> He might and have this, been you don't know it. And, and, and why do we have to make excuses for why he might have been in bed with a man and now it's like, well, good news, guys. He might not be gay. He might just be practicing for a role. As though it would be a bad thing for him to be gay. Ooh, my blood is boiling up. I don't know anything. Because I can't think, practicing for a role. I can't think of what movie, but didn't he do a movie early in the career where he, he played a gay man? So he, it could it could have been um, method acting to get ready yeah. for the bolt. You don't know. Yeah. You don't know. He's like, no, know. we're not saying that it's a bad thing, Maria. Love is love. Correct. We're not saying it's a bad thing. Love is love. Love is love. It's not a bad thing. Love is love. We love gay people. It's not a bad thing. We're saying that maybe that's the reason. Well, I don't know. I don't know why he doesn't get out. I, I feel like he should just get out. Get out and come out if he wants to live his life to the fullest. Uh, if it's with a man or woman, the, I don't care. The, just... the backpedaling. The backpedaling. The absolute backpedaling. I just feel like he's not in a safe environment where he's at. That's all. And I don't care. Again, this... And, and, and he's not in a safe environment. He's separated from his wife. What do you think separated means? He's... he's. I, I would assume... I, I don't know. Maybe I'm a fucking moron. But I would assume that he's not living with the person. He's not... He's not trapped with her. This... This subject was not about them because they're love 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 it was Prima, we, we. <laughs> cheer and there's more lord have mercy one microwave fudge thanks so much for the bits just so you know this this conversation hasn't been about will and jada the conversation love, love, love my cream all we, we. if he was method acting then what have i been doing for my whole life you know what you're just bisexual pride you're just waiting for that that gay role drunk brew huh <laughs> you're just waiting for it um, th this is, this is where th more nonsense starts because she keeps insisting that this conversation is just about, about, you know, what, what would you do if your friend or family member was in a, a domestic violence situation? That, that's what this is about. It's not about Will and Jada, but I just sat here for 21 minutes and it's been all about Will and Jada. Okay. Stars that have a shit ton of money and they're never going to pay any of our bills. 
that wasn't what that's not the subject that i was trying to pinpoint on my subject was if you all had a family member that not was about in Jada. his predicament what would you all do it's, so let's get that straight and let, let's get that straight not gay <laughs> Okay, that's that's my added that's my added joke. That's obviously not what she was saying. If you think that by talking about would you intervene on a family member or a friend's life if they were in a predicament like Will Smith, if you think that that's rude as hell, <laughs> then you can you know kick rocks in your flip flops because I really don't. Hannah, you can kick rocks in your flip flops if you think that's rude as hell. But that's not what you were talking about, Karen. That's not what you were talking about. That's not what you were talking about at all, was it? You asked that question at the very beginning, but we haven't referred back to that question in 22 minutes. We sure have it. Plus all the stuff that I cut out because this is not, there have been jump cuts and stuff, but like you haven't referred back to it. Don't give a shit. This is a really good subject because this involves friends and family in a, basically in a prison, so to speak. You know what I mean? In their own in home. a prison. So would you intervene? Or Will, Will Smith and Jada Pika Smith are separated. Do not. Again, this is not about Will Smith. This is not about his wife. This is about if it was somebody that was related to you or that you were good friends Goofy. with, would you step Goofy. in and intervene? So there. I would, Goofy. I would say something. I Goofy. 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 Um, I think I am going to end it there. I There is obviously more. I have about 13 more minutes worth of of content. But I think you get the point. I think you get the point from Miss Ma'am who uh, sent me a copyright takedown request this morning. I think you get the point. It's just it's just wild that she thinks that I've defamed her, that that I have caused her views to go down, that I bullied her. When like oh, her and her old cousin my primo, we, we. If someone in my life was method acting, I would simply mind my own business. Mm. Fair enough. Thank you so much, Ash. Uh, yeah, when she she thinks that I'm I'm bullying her, harassing her, when she's out here with her cousin, allowing just the craziest shit to be said, just saying the craziest stuff, being ableist, misogynist. I, I think, as some of you have pointed out, microaggressive and racist. <laughs> That's my opinion. That's my opinion. <laughs> Just, just so we're clear, that's my opinion. Um, are they actually cousins? Allegedly, they are. I, I've heard. But yeah, just awful. Awful. Coming for Jada Pinkett Smith's looks when she looks like Jigsaw from the Saw movies. Like, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Please. I'm begging you. <laughs> I'm begging you. <laughs> So anyways, uh, we're going to end the YouTube recording here. I'm going to say bye to the Twitch people, but YouTubies, I love y'all so much. Y'all are iconic. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Thanks for sticking around for the tea. I love y'all so, so much. And um, I'll see y'all in the next video. Make sure to subscribe. Bye!